Hello. In today's video, we're going to continue on with the series of working with Git in JDeveloper. In today's video, I am going to go over how to um, pull down a, an existing uh, project that is hosted on a uh, GitHub directory here. And you can see that I have some of the files for a, an existing SOA project. And uh, this would be for somebody who has been invited to um, work on the project, or if your local repository got completely hosed, uh, you could restart and pull in the remote repository. So um, generally, uh, you would put this in. My actual um, repository is free and therefore open to everybody to download. Um, so uh, I wouldn't need a password, but uh, if you do, you would put one in, or um, you do have the ability to put a private key in. Um, but we won't be going over that. Okay, and now what I'm going to be doing is um, pulling in to, um, I'm going to put it in, I'm trying to keep these directories uh, unique, just so um, JDeveloper doesn't uh, have any history of uh, what I've been messing with and testing for this video. Okay, so what it does is it downloads the project, and you can see that there's the little um, icon, circle icons, indicating that it's in a repository, and it's created uh, a local and remote branch, and you can see here is my master, and this is the local master. If we uh, look at this, we can actually go copy path, and go out to our location and we will see that we have the SOA project. You can see that you have the git jpr, the jws, and the git.git .git file in the system here. And here you have the jpr for the project. Now, um, in one of the videos, my first video, I discussed how I didn't like how Git was intimately involved in the source files here. But given that the main copy of the repository is out on the server, we don't have to worry about uh, this local copy getting corrupted and the Git files being so intimately involved. Unless, of course, you haven't updated your uh, master in a long time, in which case um, you might be in a lot of trouble. However, um, we have a local copy and that's where you do most of your work and when you are ready you simply come up to here and i haven't done anything although you know what let's go over here because uh, now that i think about it there could be some pending changes here let's just do a save the last time there were indeed candidates waiting to be saved and uh, perhaps i had made a change that i didn't realize but it's always good before you do anything to check and make sure that these uh, pending changes are done. And if this window is not available, you can um, go up to View, Team, and then click on the pending changes to show that. And you might want to also have the version navigator. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new branch. And um, I tend to go down here because that's what I did with Servision, but it seems that the functionality is better up here. I'm going to create a branch, and I'm just going to call it Play. And uh, so here you can see that I have the master and I have the Play. And what we're going to do is check it out. We're going to check out Play. And this tends to happen a lot. Um, for some reason, my J developer just swamps out and... Uh, I go back though, and you can see now that the green symbol is here. So if I come to my composite, and let's say that I put a human task out here, save it. Now, um, one of the things that you want to make sure you do before you do any updates to uh, or any changes is uh, perhaps it's better even to just close the window because. Um, JDeveloper seems to keep things out. And you know what? I don't want to do this. I want to do candidates first because that should have created some candidates. Yes. And it did.
and again you have to do this. Uh, Timo Han mentions why you need to do that in the um, article. I'm just satisfied with knowing that I have to do it. Now you can see that I have committed my play. The interesting thing about this is, is if we come out and we do a checkout of master, you can see that now this completely disappeared and um, the, the human task disappeared. And up here you have uh, you, no human task either. Okay, so that, that's kind of interesting. Now, we've made changes in play. And then we checked out the master again. At some point, you may actually decide that, gee, all the work that I did in play was satisfactory, and I'd like to move it into my master repository, or local master repository, not my rep remote one. So what you would then do is come up to Git and do a merge. And you want to do it um, from the master. So let me first check out the master. And again, I did that. I should get rid of all these so you can see. And it doesn't seem to refresh on its own. So the JDeveloper developer folks have a little work on their hands. Another thing that would be very nice is if you could actually double click on here and then introspect the files. Uh, which you can do with third-party applications, uh, but I, since my main repository is out here, this is where I would do it. Now, um, I have the master checked out. I have files or work done in the play local repository, which I now want to merge with my master. So you go to here and you select merge and you choose the play branch. Okay, nothing refreshed, but if I place this out here, and uh, you can see now that I have these files and they seem to be all up to date. I even have uh, some stuff in here after you press refresh. So it's not as automatic as it probably should be. Let's just save this uh, and see if there's any pending candidates and outgoing candidates. No, there are not. So that's how you would do this. And um, at this point, you could even delete this. If you just wanted to get out of there, not do any work, uh, this tends to happen a fair amount. And it does not disappear as much as I'd like it to until I close JDeveloper and reopen it. So there is some work that these folks have to do on uh, making the Git repository uh, view within JDeveloper a little bit more uh, comfortable to work with. But we'll see that in a second. OK, I have got JDeveloper reopened. And now I'm going to go down and look at my local branch. And the play is still there. How about that? On previous occasions, it did delete. See if that did it. That worked. So it does need a little bit of refreshing. OK, well, let's just review something. Um, the reason that we have this whole local repository is it allows you to work in local repositories that do not upset or affect what's going out on the main repository here. And once you do your work, then and you reach satisfaction, you can do a merge like I just showed you. And then, of course, you can now push it out to the main. Hold on. Let's just make sure we have everything. Sometimes if that doesn't show, there might be some pending things out here that we need to do. I'm going to come up here. Get. Oh, here we go. So it, it does. It's funny how it works sometimes. I'm going to now push this out to my directory on, or my remote repository. And now let's go out there and uh, let's just uh, refresh it a little bit so that we can see. And now you can see a human task is in there. So 
um, we have now updated the main repository. Okay, so I hope that was helpful to you. Um, and uh, have a good evening.